everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yep, it's morning. See, it's morning. Um, how is everybody today? Cindy Otter here with Marcy Endeavors and just what's going on the blues. It's time to play in our um, pick 10. All right, so we have our book here. I have my thingies here. Let's see, we got our book here. Let's see where we're at. Oh, this was last month's. That was funny. And here we are this month. You know what? I'm going to leave this. Figure out how I'm going to do this. Uh, let's take these out. Let's take this off. We're going to put this over here. Just to kind of protect that previous page. Move those out of the way for a moment. And then we're going to cover up this page. I don't know why I cover them up, but man, eh, what the heck. That works. All right, so here we go. Pick 10. Got a bunch of stencil brushes over here. All this is is my extra sticks. All right, are we ready? Let's see what we're going to do today. I'm going to pick them one at a time today. And we start off with use blue. <clears throat> so it doesn't say what kind of blue. So I am going to use blue. If it works, hopefully my spray hasn't gotten clogged. Let's see. It hasn't. This is, um, oh, it's an acrylic spray, acrylic art spray by Marabou. And I've had this for quite a while. I actually got it um, quite a few months ago down in North Carolina. So it says use blue. I'm going to use that. And you know what? I'm going to use this stencil that Gina had sent to me, which is an Andy Skinner stencil through Deco Art, I believe. And um, I love it. So here we go. We're going to use blue. All right. Now, because I don't want to waste that, where is my book? I have my wipe off, a wipe off book over here. So we're going to wipe that off. Perfect. All right. So there it is. So we used blue. What is next? So that's number one. Here we go. Let's see. Number two is geometric shapes. That one seems to come up a lot for me. Have you noticed that? Um, since we're staying, we're going to do this. Let me dry this real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Um, so it says use. It says geomet geometric shapes. So let's play. This is a. I love the smell of these things. <laughs> this is a big marker. I'm a little bit quiet today, guys. Um, I'm just coming off a really nice, <laughs> if you want to call it that word, um, fibro flare. And unfortunately, my fibro um, hits between the base of my skull and um, down to about the bra strap, so about the middle of the chest. And it's just, it's awful. So today I'm a little bit better, so I figured, hey, I want to play, play, play. So there we go. Number two, geometric shapes. We don't know where this is going. Number three. It's just, I'm looking at you guys, not the fling ink. Fling it, huh? That means I'm going to be wearing it all over the place. Let's fling some, why not? Let's fling some copper. 
This is Liquitex. It's um, iridized rich copper. It just looked pretty when I went to the shelf. Oh, it looks kind of thick and gooey too. How am I going to fling this? Fling, fling, fling. Ooh. Fling. Alright, so we flinged some ink. Next. White paint. Hmm, white paint. What am I going to do with the white paint, pickles? Good question, good question. You know what I am going to do? This is, um, I found this down at the Reuse Center down in North Carolina. Um, actually, and that's, I got these down in North Carolina at uh, Jerry's Artorama. And like I said, that was a, quite a while ago. Um, this is, Mal, I guess this is Ikea's uh, brand of paint. And this is just a white, I paid 50 cents for it. So I figured, what the heck, I'll try it. So what I'm going to do... is take the goober off and I plan I'm going to do this. I'm going to use white paint but I'm going to use it in conjunction with this ink. So let's see what happens. I need some more white on there. Come on. White paint. We're using white paint on our flinged ink. How's that sound? Sounds good to me, right? Alright, so we've got our white paint and our flinged ink. Let's see what's next. That's what, three. Number four is gesso through a stencil. You know what? We're going to kind of stay in this line. So I'm going to use gesso through the stencil. I like this stencil. Isn't that cool? I got it at Blitzy. Uh, it's the Crafters Workshop stencil. No idea who it's from. Don't know, but it's really cool. So let's get out the white gesso. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't say white gesso. It just says gesso through a stencil. Guess what? We're going to use black. There's my black gesso right here. We are going to use black gesso through the stencil. Oops. Sorry. Dropping stuff over here. Hold on. Alright. If I can ever get this off. I always have a problem getting this thing off. These don't come with a top. So I had my husband. I was like, I need a top. So he gave me these little I don't know. I guess they're supposed to go on electric wires or something. I don't know. But sometimes it's hard getting them off. All right, I'm going to use the same sponge that I had um, for my white and my copper. So we are going to stencil through. We are going to gesso through a stencil. Cool, cool beans. Let's put you up here a little bit. You never know where these pages are going to go, do you? I think that's what's so much fun about it, is you just don't know. Alright, so we did white paint. We did that one, so that's four. That's five, is gesso through a stencil. So we need number six, which is you. Use pink. Huh. Boy, this thing's got me going all over, doesn't it? We're going to use some pink. So, we are going to use some Dilution pink. This is bubblegum pink, and this is probably the old one, just so you guys are aware. It's going to look funky. Yes, it is. This is the old one, which is fine. I have no problem with that. Another squisher, squisher. Uh, let's see. Use pink. How are we going to use our pink? Let's do it through another stencil. Let's do it through the same stencil. Why not? I like it. I like it. 
See this paint, um, this was the original backup batch of pink that um, Ranger had the issue with. I think it was one of the chemicals in the paint actually got froze. So that's why it does this. But I have to tell you, the pigment that's in this ink, I still use it because I love it. It's just so pretty. All right, so there's my pink. This looks like it's an interesting page so far. What do you guys think? It's different. All right, next. Not looking, closing my eyes. Silhouette. Hey, we know how to do that, don't we? Let's do a silhouette, guys. I gotta grab my masks, which are right here. And let's see what kind of silhouette we wanna do. These are, this is my little box of masks. Um, I like her. Let's do her. So what I'm going to do is grab a pen. This is just a blue Sharpie. And you know what? I'm going to stand her right up on top of this. What we're going to do is we're just going to draw her out. I think I just went through some wet paint. All right, we got her here. So we're gonna make her into a silhouette now. So let's see, what color do we wanna do her? Let's do her purple to go with the pink. Does that sound good? Let's do her purple. Oh no, I got a better idea. Let's do her this real pretty blue. Real pretty blue. Get my water over here. Get my paintbrush. Let's use this one. All right, so we are going to make our silhouette here. All right, I gotta have some coffee. Hold on, guys. Grab that coffee. Good stuff. All right. We're just going to paint in our silhouette. So how's everybody doing? I hope good. Um, like I said, I'm coming off a of fibro flare, so it's all good. <clears throat> I'm not going to make her perfect. You know what? Who's perfect? Nobody. So why do we have to make her perfect? We don't, right? So we can make her any old way we want to. And this brush... It's got thingies hanging out here. That drives me crazy. What I'll end up doing is taking a pair of scissors <laughs> and fixing it <laughs> my way. <laughs> so if you have any idea of a, a, a good way besides scissors to fix a brush that the, the, the bristles don't want to stay where they're supposed to, let me know. Let me know. This is such a pretty blue. Alright, so like I said, we're just going to do her. She does not have to be perfect. She's just our pretty silhouette. And I wonder what she's holding up in the air in her hands. Maybe we get another prompt. It'll give me, I'll be able to hold, you know, have her holding something in her hands. I'm going to flip this around just because it's easier for me. Maybe not. Ugh. Oops, my off camera. Off camera. So, my grandbaby is out of school. She has graduated from second grade. 
So now this summer, she's going to spend it one day a week with Grandma. So that's going to be fun. Her and I will have to do some art and we'll have to do, of course, maybe some shopping depending on how it goes. Look at her, isn't she pretty? And she's not even perfect because she doesn't need to be, right? All right, so there's our silhouette. I'm going to flip her back around. I'm going to dry her up and I will be right back. Okay, so she's dry. So we're on number eight. Eight is use numbers. We can do that. I think. Let me think. I'll be right back. All right. So I found this piece of tissue paper. Someone had sent to me a long time ago in a happy mail or a swap. I can't remember. And it's full of numbers. So we are going to use some of these numbers. I wish it was white, but it's not, so we're going to deal with it, right? There's another one. There's another one. Alright. So what we're going to use to put these down is I've got the Martha Stewart decoupage. This is the jar that I found on clearance a while back. I've still been, I'm still using it. I mean, it's it's lasted quite a while, so I'm going to put numbers down. I enjoy doing these pick tens. They're really fun because you never know what your page is going to look like. And I think that's the fun of it. And you know what? I love Dino Wakely's brushes, but these long ones, I'm going to have my hubby cut them off for me. Anyways, um, yeah, so I like doing this. This is fun. Uh, let's see, we'll go right there. We're just spreading these around. And let's put this one, $16.92, that's what she's carrying. 1692. Don't know what it means. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. We need some up here. 150. And right here looks good. All right. So we've got numbers. Numbers. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's number eight. Let's see what number nine and ten bring us. Number nine is right there. Use two stencils. Hmm, I like that idea. This is a stencil that I just bought from, um, again, Blitzy. And I'm going to use, this is the other one I used. So we're going to put this one back for now. I like this. This one. You know what I'm thinking? Thinking, thinking. Let me figure out what color paint I'm going to use. What about gold? Let's find a gold. Let's find a gold. Bingo! Okay, hold on a second, guys. I gotta turn my pillow stove down. It's getting warm in here. Phew! Must be I thought I was cold earlier. Okay, so let's use this stencil. So I gotta use two stencils. This is gonna be my first. And this is just a Reeves acrylic gold. It was on clearance for $1.50.
do is I just want to giving me a little. It's not giving me exactly what I wanted, but we just have to go a little harder on it. Yep. Isn't this fun? I love it. There's just, you just never know. <laughs> never know what's going to happen. Let's just see. Yeah, I like it. Can you guys see that? That's really cool. Okay, so there's one. All right, let's see what other stencil we're going to use here. Hold on. Hold on. As my granddaughter says, hold on, Grandma. I have a Tim Holtz stencil here. This one I, I got a while back, um, but I haven't used it yet. So let's use this. And what I'm going to do with this, I want a color to, give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, I think this is what I'm going to use. This is Premier Acrylic, um, and it's lime yellow. When my husband and I went camping here a while back with um, Jerry and her husband, Jerry Bellini and her husband, um, on the way there, we found this Ben Franklin. Do you guys remember the Ben Franklin stores? Um, we're talking, you know, it's been a long time since I've seen a Ben Franklin. And we had the RV with, you know, we were in the RV and I said to my husband, stop! He's like, what? I'm like, there's a Ben Franklin. So anyways, we went in and um, it looked pretty much like they were going out of business. But they had a couple paints there and this is one of them that I picked up and I just, I really love the color. So what I'm thinking here move stuff out of the way because I'm thinking about come on coffee move you guys see this yes okay this is what I'm thinking about doing I kind of want to let's see if this will work what I am thinking I kind of want to back down some of that other stuff so we can pretty much focus on yeah that's going to do what I'm thinking it's doing what I'm thinking. We're just going to try to calm down some of this other. And I don't want it, you know, I don't want it um, completely covered, but I do want to just calm it down. So that's why we're going in. I love this color. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is my, okay, go down here. My two stencils. Ding, 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 ding. I'm in rare form this morning. I think it's because of the last two days I've pretty much had to be couch bound and it drives me crazy. I hate being on the couch. But I know that's what I've got to do because if I don't, you will not see me for a long time. <laughs> So, I have to do what I've got to do. Oh, I like it. I like it. She's coming out so cool. But you know what? I still think I want to do some of the green around her. Even though we've got the gold there, I don't like that white. So, we're just going to kind of calm it down a little bit. Yeah. Just like that. Cool. What you think? I like her. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh, this is our last one. Let's see what we got. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, let's see. We've got finger paint. Hmm. I don't really want a finger paint. <laughs> I don't want. Ay, ay, ay. Can I do a redo? I don't want a finger paint. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not really didn't want to finger paint, but that's okay. We're going to finger paint. And what I'm going to finger paint in is an edge. Just because I'd like to have an edge on this. Why not? Finger paint. 
know it's a good day when your fingers are covered in paint, right? That's the way I can tell a good day. <laughs> and making myself laugh always helps too. Alright. We're finger painting. Have you guys checked out um, the My Year 2017 group? I was just thinking about it because um, I just was working on a project um, that Ann Williamson came out with. And I don't know why finger painting made Well, it did make me. You use your hands to make a project, and it's really cool. I thought it was a lot of fun. I can't wait to bring my granddaughter and have her make her own project using her hands. So that's going to be fun. All right. Let's get some of this paint off. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that was number 10. All right. So now, what am I going to do with her? Let's see. Just trying to get some of the other paint off her. There she is, guys. There's so much more I'd love to do to it, you know, doodling and that kind of stuff. But you know what? This is a pick 10 for a reason, and it's a challenge. And the challenge is, is to put a cohesive <laughs> or somewhat cohesive page together using 10 prompts. And there it is. There is the 10 prompts. So there's our pick 10 for this month. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. I, I like doing these. They're a lot of fun. All right, so as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. I will see you guys on the next video. And have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!